Well, thank you, Anne, and welcome everybody to this meeting. Sankar knitting has been a passion of mine. It, it started when I was in my teens, not yesterday, but um, I learnt from my mother and she learnt from the rural. And then by sheer coincidence, I married a Sankar man. And when I came to Sankar, it just grew and grew and now it's a passion. Uh, I've been knitting it for over 50 years now and I've been teaching as well. The, the purpose of this tonight is just for anybody who is interested, just to give you a heads up on what I find works and what doesn't work. It's not definitive. And if you have something else, um, there'll be people here who have experienced um, stranded knitting and, and they'll, they'll have their own thoughts on it. But this is just purely um, as I have found it over the years. A wee bit history about the Sankar knitting. It's a lot of it's lost in the mists of time, but it's well documented round about the 1600s and the 1700s, and it was a cottage industry to augment people's incomes. Uh, we had carpet factories here in Sankar, and they backed the carpets with a, a fibre called drugget, which is a mixture of wool which is an abundance of, and cotton or flax. And they use that to knit the gloves. It's almost like a, a cotton uh, yarn that you would get now. Um, and in, they had the American War of Independence. And before that, it was the, the gloves and the stockings, as they talked about, were, were exported in great numbers. But the... American War of Independence, when they stopped taking exports from this country, and it almost killed the tradition off. But it has managed to survive in a small measure. There's uh, many different patterns. Um, the Duke pattern is the one that is most recognised and is known as the Santa pattern. But there's actually 16 different patterns, not, not all in print but uh, that's how many there are. And some of them have a history to them. Some of them, we just don't know what the history is. But the one for the Duke is thought to have been named after the, the Duke of Buccleuch because he put in an order for, uh, a large order for gloves and stockings. And they think that that pattern, that design has been named after him. And that this, is, this is the, the, the Duke pattern, and it's probably the one that's, that's most familiar to everybody. Okay. Now, I was just going to, to run over um, the, the different things that are needed to, to knit the Sanka gloves. I know that there's some ladies here that have the needles and, and the yarn to, to get started, but... Um, I'll start with the patterns. There are two versions of the glove pattern. One with seven blocks immediately above the cuff. And this version is thought to be the definitive glove to Sanka and the one knitted in the town at the time. This glove is certainly more versatile than the other version. The second version is what we call the eight pattern glove in that it has eight blocks immediately above the cuff. And this one gives a slightly bigger glove. But at the end of the day, it just looks as if you've got two gloves that are identical. But this is the one that has the extra block in it. The first pattern was never recorded and printed until recently. That's the one with the, the block that's one less. And it was written, I, I wrote the pattern down, uh, mostly because it had never been recorded. And I thought it was important that they were recorded. And this is the one that I use for teaching purposes, um, which is this one here. Mm -hmm. uh, lost my place. 
The instructions are the basic authentic pattern as I was taught and includes tips based on my experience over the years. And it comes as a booklet form. There's about 14 different pages to it. Can everybody see that? And at the back, there's actually um, a small graph, if, if anybody prefers to work from a graph. And it also includes instructions for a mitten and a fingerless glove. And I can tell you where that, that's available. The, the second version is the one that was taught in the local school for many years, uh, not anymore. And um, that's the one that's available from SWI headquarters. Not quite as comprehensive as the other one, but it, nonetheless, it, it does give you instructions. Now, the first pattern, the one with the, the one that, that I wrote, it is available locally in a, a, a local shop called Stenhouse and Crafty Artists. And it's in Sanka. And the telephone number for um, to contact the shop for that is 01659501888. And her email is contact, C-O-N-T-A-C-T, -T, at craftyartists.co.uk. SWI also print patterns in the Midgen Free, Shepherd's Plate and the Prince of Wales designs. They are not squared patterns. And the version printed in Sanka is available in all nine squared patterns. Now moving on to the needles. A lady's glove is knitted using size 1.75, uh, that's 15 in the old version, and the US uh, size 2 for an average glove. If a smaller glove is required, you move down a size to 1.5 or 16. Shorter finger needles can be used to knit the fingers if preferred. I don't use the, the shorter needles, but I'm just in, in the way of using the, the ordinary needles, six inch size that I use. Gents gloves are knitted on size two millimeters or 14. Both six inch length and finger needles are available at Stenhouse and Crafty Artists, the details of what I've just given you. Now we come to the yarn. Um, unfortunately, there is an issue with yarn at the moment, and that's due to us leaving the EU. And stockists are having difficulty in obtaining the supplies if it's coming from abroad. And one of the ones that I'm going to recommend does come from abroad. And some of the, the stockists are getting low on, on what they have. Uh, ladies' gloves are knitted in three ply and gents are knitted in four ply. My preferred three ply is a sock yarn with a wool synthetic mixture. Uh, and the reason I, I say that is that the, the synthetic mixture gives it a durability. Uh, some people are fans of Shetland wool and that's fair enough. But my experience of the Shetland wool, I once knitted uh, somebody a pair of gloves who, this was somebody that was using her gloves every day and they were pulled on and pulled off. And before one winter was over, they were in holes. Uh, I felt that it was too soft. 
and I, I just wouldn't allow anybody to go to the work of uh, using that and find that they, they don't wear. But that's fair. If somebody wants to use Shetland wool, that, that's fair enough. But that's my recommendation. Um, the three-ply sock wool is hard to come by, but sometimes, and dare I say it, a finer four-ply knits as a three-ply. One like this is lan wools, which is this one here. If I turn that, it's upside down. Is that it's back to front, obviously. Um, yeah, we can see it the right way around. Oh, well, I, I'm seeing it back to front. <laughs> yeah. um, this is her, uh, it, by Lan Wools. It is a 75% wool and 25% mixture, um, synthetic mixture. And it comes in 50 gram balls in a variety of colours. But you have to keep in mind that this yarn has a small reel of one ply strengthening yarn which eats into the 50 gram weight, and that's inside it. So you've got to make allowances for that when you're ordering your wool. And just as a matter of interest, I used the wee reel on the inside to knit a small, a tiny glove. It's like lace wool. Um, and I looked at the Love Crafts site this morning. And this Lang uh, Yawol is offered in, 20, in 34 colours and 17 of them were out of stock. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that Frances in the shop here is having difficulty getting her supplies. She stocks this. She has a limited amount of um, supply at the moment but she's out of black and both black and white are still available on Lovecrafts. Uh, regular rules if anybody has a, a three ply weight it's ideal but unfortunately it's now discontinued. I've got a stash where I'm still working my way through, so it, it's fine. Uh, a good three-ply 75-25 mixture is available from EJT Knitting website. That's Euro Japan Trading website. And that's uh, that one there. And that is a th that is a good three ply. I've knitted with it, and it makes a lovely glove. So if you just go to EJT Knitting website, you get it from there. I'm sure there there'll be other uh, local knitting shops who may be able to supply yarns, but from my experience, these are the ones that are, that are available that are working the best at the minute. And there's plenty supply of the four ply sock yarn available and at a push four ply could be used for ladies gloves but if it's not finer as described it will result in a denser piece of knitting it works but it's it's heavier it's chunkier um, so that that's a quick resume of what's available, where to get it. Uh, our shop in Sankar will post out normally at first class, first, by first class, unless uh, uh, otherwise specified. So if anybody wants to ask me any questions. What was the size of needles again for the ladies' gloves? Because I was had a lot going on in the house at the time. Uh, a size 15, one, 1.75. Okay, thanks. Size big that that gives you an average size. And she has the finger needles the same sizes. May sorry, what was the quantity for your pattern that you recommend? Well, I, I put down 50 grams of each colour, 
Okay, thanks. But if you're getting the, the lang, would we need more? You would maybe have to allow maybe an extra of your main colour because of the little wheel on the inside. Anybody else? Mary, when you're knitting the main part of the gloves, can you use circular needles or do you have to use the double pointed needles? I, I find that the, the circular needle doesn't have a long enough bit in between the ends. So is, is that the only reason because you can get the long because you can get the ones where you, you can have a long as long middle as you want? A long end as you want. But I've you never knitted them. As, I've never knitted them in circular, but I don't okay. see how you couldn't. Okay. I think it would be it would be okay if you had something yeah. small enough. I, I just find when I'm doing the pointy needles, one keeps falling out all the time. Mm, yeah. I, just, I think it's you. I think it's steel needles that that that's stocked in the shop here in Sanka. It is. It's yeah. five. It is. Mm -hmm. how, how many balls of wool does it? take to knit a pair of gloves? Uh, well, I, I recommend uh, 50 grams of each colour. But if you go to the lang, the lang one, one, zoom. you have okay, to okay. perhaps allow an extra ball because of the, the reel on the inside. Right. It, it eats, that eats into the 50 grams. And is that um, 50 grams, is that two colours? Just the two colours? Well, if you're doing it in black and white, you'd have 50 grams of white and 50 grams of black. Right. Um, for somebody that's maybe just starting off and they're not sure about the black, consider using another colour. It's not just as harsh as the black. Mm -hmm. uh, my experience in the classes was that uh, some ladies couldn't see the black when they were first starting. It's harder than artificial light as well, isn't it? Well, that's right, yeah. So even if you have maybe have a, a navy or a, a, a dark grey works sometimes. I've got, dark grey. I've got the dark grey. And that, is it that two colours you work with? Yes, yeah, two colours. Two, two colours. Colors. But it's fun okay. to try and introduce the other colours too. Well, I've got green here that I could use with something. And then purple. You know. Is it traditionally black and white, or does it not matter? The traditional colours are black and white, but there's a lot of interest in, in using other colours now. Black and red was another traditional colour as well. Not one time. Which colour is deemed as the main colour? Is it the black? Black, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, if you're getting the, the, the Lang rule, it's the only the main colour you need to go for the extra ball. Right. So the, other one, the other one will be fine. I actually, I was actually booked to come on your course in April, last April, oh, which right. of course we were in lockdown. Uh -huh. And when I got the wool when I was in Sankar and doing that, and and I bought the grey and cream. That, that's so I would need a, I would need another grey. Is that the the lines? Lines. It's lines. You might find that it, it will be okay, but it, you're safer maybe to get another yeah. one. Okay. Um, you might find that when you get to the end that you've had enough, mm -hmm. but um, a lot depends on tension and things as well. Yeah. You know, that can change it too. Yeah. Is, it a is it a difficult pattern to follow? Well, I'm maybe the wrong person to... <laughs> to say that, that I must say that the one that this one, the one that uh, I recorded, it's more comprehensive than the rural one. Anne and I have had a discussion about this. It, it's okay, <laughs> but it, it, it's more. This one's more comprehensive, and it gives you tips. It, it gives you tips about how to hold your rule and 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 different things as well. And how do you get that pattern? If you Contact, the, there's a, a lady that has a shop in Sanker called Stenhouse and Crafty Artists. Oh yes, I said that. And right. that, so that's it. Is that just uh, contact at craftyartists.co.uk? Yes, yes. Right. 
Mm -hmm. and, and she'll sort you out with the pattern. That's fine. I didn't realise that was the pattern as well. Yes, she has pattern uh, needles and a, a limited supply of yarn, but no black. But no black. No I black. just I just looked on the EJT website just now, and they also have booklets. But would you recommend the one in Sankar? Well, the other one is a Sankar one as well, but it's more in a graph form. Okay, so the one the ones on the EJT website are pro are not as because the, the, they seem to have a selection of Sankar pattern booklets as well. Yeah, and stockings. Mm -hmm. Yes, but, but there's the two. But uh, I'm not, I've, I've got the pattern. I've never worked from it. Um, I'm more familiar with the, the, the one. Okay. The written one. Okay. That you get in Sankar. Okay. Yeah. Can I ask, can I ask, do the, the shop in Sankar, do they do the mitts as well as the gloves? Well, the, the, this pattern, the, the one that you get in Santa, it incorporates the mittens and, and right. fingerless gloves as well. It's all in the right. Pattern. Because I bought this, the one from the SWI, but it's mm. only for gloves. Yes, yes. The, the, the other one has the three things in it. Right. Okay. Hey, can I ask you, I've got two ply lace yarn from Jimison's. Would that work with it? Well... I don't know. I really don't know. I could say yes and it doesn't work, and I could say no and it would work. I, I just don't know. That, that's the honest answer. Right. It's a case of NC. Is that it? Well, yeah. If, if you want to use it, yes. I'm, I'm I mean, I do have the black and the cream of it. Uh huh. And I did start to do it, but I found going from one double pointed needle to the other, I was quite loose. Right. That that would just come with practice, of course. Mm -hmm. The more you, you knit, that, that, that would settle down eventually. Yeah. We just hey. try it rather than buy other wool. Well, it's, it's up to yourself. Um, that, that was my experience with the Shetland wool, but you might find that it would work if it was something that we weren't using today. Uh -huh. Possibly. Right. But, I mean, I just, I just have the experience of the late rules. So I don't the, the lace rules. So I just don't know. May so. can I ask you to repeat the phone number again, please, for Stenhouse and Crafty yes. Artists? Yes, it's o one six five nine. I'll we'll find it. O one six five nine. Uh huh. And, and what's the me. rest? No, I can't find it now. Just uh, bear with me till I find it. Yeah. What's on the first page? Is it five uh, zero one eight eight one eight eight? Say that again, please. It's o one six five nine five zero one eight eight zero one eight eight. And she's only open in the mornings. Right. That's only five numbers, yeah. is that correct? Yeah, we just have five numbers. Yeah. yeah, it is correct though. Uh -huh. Oh, it is, right, okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, can I ask again, you said about needing, you said about needing one ply. One ply? No. A real no, the, the oh. little reel on the inside of the yarn, it, it's only a one fly. But, but but what what do you use that. that for? I just I just knitted a tiny glove. Ah, <laughs> right. Okay. Just a fun thing. <laughs> it's uh, the one for the mitts. Is it on that one? Yes, yeah. it's all incorporated in the same place. Right. Yes. Yes. That was actually in a rural magazine in 1994. All right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Busy knitting them. <laughs> All right, that's good. Are you finding it easy, Dorothy? Yes. Uh -huh. Is it easy? I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. always want to do another wee bit to see another square for me. Right. I knitted these gloves, um, must be 30 years ago, and that was done with Jameson's wool, Liz. 
Right. And was that two ply or was that three ply? That's two ply. Two ply. Uh huh. I must have sent for it when I when I was trying to do it. You know. Mm -hmm. That was two ply. Now. And I think I did it on 15s. Uh-huh. I mean, I've got, I've got 15 needles. I mean, that's no problem. It's just... I mean, I do the the mitts. Uh-huh. Two ply, and it comes out for a wee child about that size. But I do it on 16s. Uh-huh. Right. Thanks, Dorothy. Mm -hmm. could, could I ask how to... Get the fingers, the joints between the fingers, how to make a decent job of that. I have knitted two pairs of Sanger gloves and I have, have not um, uh, made a good job of getting the joints, the fingers. Have you used, did you use the, the SWI pattern? Yes, that was the one I was using. Because the they have, that pattern has a different execution of the, the, the bit in between the fingers, the fouchettes as we talk about, the gusset. Um, and the one that, that uh, I recorded is done differently. The end result is the same, but it's done differently. And I feel that it's easier to lift stitches at that on the way that I do it. Well, I think I'll buy your pattern. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I did find it. They they had a a different. Uh, I can't remember the way the way this I do it is that I cast on the stitches and then reduce from there. The SWI pattern does it the opposite way round. I'm I'm just I'm not explaining it very well, but it's. It's easier to lift the stitches and reduce as the SWI pattern. I found that anyway because I've done it both ways. So maybe if you try the other way, it might help. I'll, I'll, I'll try that to see how I get on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask, what does the inside of the glove look like? Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. The, when you're carrying your wool across, it just it just lays flat against the back, and right. it results in something that's double thickness. But that right. that's what it, it should look like. It should look like. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Can I just check? It is. Do you use four needles or five needles? I use four needles. You use four. Mm -hmm. Right. Is it possible? Sorry. Is it possible for you to have another little night, maybe in about a month's time? Yeah. Or a week's time. So mm -hmm. we could ask, you know, I could do with asking when you go from one onto the second needle, I always end up with a kind of loose bit. Mm, so do I. How you, how you avoid, you know, I could do with a wee tutoring session. I think the idea is to have more more nights. Good, that would be good. Uh -huh. Do you do you not get past that by knitting the first two stitches of your onto from your next needle onto your old needle, right. and then and me. then transfer it on? Do so you have like a rolling start? Ah, yeah, yeah. I that's what you could call it. Yeah. Not tried that. I got that tip from somebody now with WI. Good. In, in the pattern that I use, um, there's one black stitch on each needle. So where your two stitches come together between the ah, So it hides it. Uh, I have one on one needle and one on the other. Right. I think some right. patterns actually have two on the one needle. Right. Um, but I have one on each needle and I find that that keeps it firmer. Good. Mm -hmm. I quite often knit with more than one colour, but I don't usually knit on four needles. Right. Uh -huh. 
I must say that there's there's no there's no rules about sankamitting. It's versatile. If you want to have longer fingers, you make longer fingers. You know, stuff like that. There's only one golden rule. If you have um, one colour in one hand, say you have your black in your right hand and your white in your left hand, don't change that after you start knitting because it'll be a different shade. <laughs> it doesn't. Have them all the same hand. <laughs> no, they're not the same. No. I, I've um, I've seen it. I've tested it just to see, and it is that's the only golden rule. If you start with one, keep it at that for all your knitting. So you have one colour in one hand yes. and one colour in the other hand. Yes, I don't no. understand that. No, nor me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never mastered that either. <laughs> I've never you seen Please, could you one. show us? I've never tried that. <laughs> that, that that's, the, that's how we do it in Sanka, but I always say that if you have a method that works for you, that's fine. But right. uh, could I read from the, the little tip in the pattern about holding the yarn? It might make it, you might understand it a wee bit better. Sanka method, and it's by no means definitive. If you have a message which suits you and it works, you go with that. Yeah. Hold one colour in each hand. Does not matter which colour where. Knit normally with the right hand. In the left hand, lay the yarn over the index finger with no slack. Keep it quite firm. And knit by taking the right hand needle through the stitches to be knitted. Then over the top to the back of the yarn on the left hand and lift the yarn and pull it through. It's like uh -huh. continental knitting. Uh -huh. But if you start with, say, the white in the left hand, do not change as the, um, when the glove is started because it does cause a shadow. There's no doubt about it. Ah, right, because of the way it crosses yes. the back. Yes. Right, I can you see how that. Yeah. The tension's slightly different in each hand. Right. But that's the, that's why I say that's the only golden rule. Everything else is versatile. So are you knitting into the top of your index finger in the left hand you take, above the wool? Take, take your needle over the top of the wool and scoop it up and draw it through your stitch towards Right. You. OK, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I always encourage anybody to, to try a method of band knitting like that because you get up a better speed. Yeah. Is, is, it all, is it all knitting stitches when, when you're knitting in the round then? Yes, uh -huh. the, on, the only time it can be different is if you choose to put a purl stitch in your cuff. Right. What kind of stitch? A purl stitch. What, what kind of stitch? Purl, purl stitch. Everything, everything's a knit stitch, but there is one cuff that you put a purl stitch in. Right. Exciting. And the other thing about the, this pattern as well, there's three different cuffs in this pattern. There's one, a, there's one different one on the glove and what's on the, the mitten and the fingerless glove. There's three different cuffs. And if you want, you can change, you can use, say, the, the cuff that's on the mitten and put it on your glove. Right. You don't have to stick to, to what's there. Last we got the pattern and the wool and the needles ordered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get ahead of you girls. I've already got it. What did you do? Did you email or what did you do? I've just emailed the crown place. <laughs> in Although it's a pity they're close because I live quite close. Well, fairly close. <laughs> should, should the shop's open in the mornings. Oh, the shop. She's allowed to shop open. She sells pet food. 
Ah, that's why she's open here. I feel a run to Sanker coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that allowed? be justified. Too far. I could buy special dog food while I'm there. <laughs> It'll be essential gloves you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's for my mental health. <laughs> I hope you've warned the lady, me, because I've got visions of her going into the shop tomorrow morning with her computer <laughs> emails waiting for her. I warned her on the email. She does know. She does know. I hope so that she'll be inundated with emails. I actually spoke to her this morning to see what our latest situation with her, our wool stock was. So, yeah, she does know. Well, that's the Lovecrafts wool ordered. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will be expecting to see yours next week then. <laughs> well, I have a slight problem in that knitting with double colours and things like that makes me dizzy. So I can only do it for short bursts. Or I get, I've got many or so I end up in a spin. Right. So mine will probably take me a year to knit. <laughs> I don't think I'll be far behind. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> It doesn't matter what pace you do it at, as long as nope. you're clear in the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May, how long does it take you to knit a pair of gloves? 17 Speed hours. Days. 17 hours. Uh, 17 hours. A pair. A pair, a pair and some a battery's going to go. How, how many gloves have you knitted over the years? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hundreds of them. Yeah. That's a tough year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your favourite colour to knit? Sorry? What's your favourite colour to knit in? I don't know. I, I think black and white's the one that I knit. Oh, excuse in. me. What I do don't, know, don't know that I have a favourite. I like to put different colours together. I, I quite like doing that. Mm -hmm. So anyone else got any further questions they'd like to ask? No, I do the fair isle knitting, but I'm this say left hand knitting at the same time as the left, the right hand. I'm gonna have a go at that. That sounds absolutely genius. I really Actually, like that one. Be, it's something it might be quite handy to see a, a wee video of somebody doing that, just to, mm. to watch and make sure that we're doing it right. Mm -hmm. Well, I can do it, but I don't know how uh, successful it's going to be. I don't know. Let, let me try. Um, well, you, you can always find something on YouTube. Mm. I, I had something lying, but I, I can't see it now. Um, here we go. Try it on this. I don't know how, how you see it very well. Can you bring it up a wee bit, me? Mm. When you get Turn started. Me. Turn your camera. That's beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. Things are just trying, I'll have to improvise, but um, right, I'll try this. I'm in a fan call. So I just with the left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can see it very well. I've got this over my index finger and I take the needle over the top and scoop it up through. Uh, mm -hmm. can, you see, can you see it? Mm -hmm. And then this one is just knitted ordinary. And then over the top and scoop it up through. I uh... and, Kind of like as if your pin was a hook. Yes. Right. Yeah. All right. 
But put, put, put it underneath because that just it. Right. Take put it, it over, over the top. Over the top. top. Uh. It's like you're using a crochet hook, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit like that. Mm -hmm. And then this one's just like it. And then over the top, scoop it up through. I'm hoping to have uh, the, the camera sorted out for when the, the, the thing starts proper and be able to demonstrate easier than that. Right. Yeah, but coming in your camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. I'll have a go of that. Thank you. Thank you. I see we almost. I see we almost managed to join us. Do you want? Do you want to see if oh, you can yes. see us now, Wilma? Right, that has been brilliant. I'm so, my apologies for my pro problems there. We did get a notification through that they're working on our local mast, and that it would bother the internet. And of course, I forgot about it, and then of course, fell foul to it at the start. So it seems to have cleared itself just now. That was absolutely fascinating. I was kept coming in and out, getting bits, and I've got notes down here. Um, I'm eager to have a go, and I will be ordering my wool tomorrow, or as soon as possible. I'll maybe try the email later on tonight. Um, it's, I've done Fair Isle, never tried this. As I said, I was saying that I found an old pattern before Christmas um, and I thought, oh, I have saved that and saved that and never knitted it. And I think it was, as I say, I said to you earlier, it was Bernie Sanders mitts that made me think of, oh, I could I'd love to have a go at knitting Sanker gloves so thank you very much thank you for everybody else who has joined us tonight um i can see you're all interested like i am so thank you very much and i'm looking forward to getting started to knit <laughs>